How are you doing, sir? I am very good. I am happy. Uh, I am in the middle of shooting, oh. uh, which is yes. great. We were shooting in in Spain, in Valencia, uh, which was very nice. I, I had lovely rices and and wine over the weekends. It was <laughs> it was a. a yeah, it's it's beautiful to be shooting with this team, you know. Sure, I want to ask you specifically uh, in the footage that we saw. Yeah, there uh, it seems to be like uh, that you're going undercover in season two on on, on some. <laughs> you're missions. sharp. I no, was like, no, I give credit to Maggie. Oh, yeah. you did it. Yeah, Maggie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My God, you were Maggie. <laughs> I'm so glad to meet you. Thank you for all the lovely things you said about the show and all the support you gave us. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, it was it was very nice to to follow your your uh, how do you say um, your emo no emocionada your excitement for the show. It w it meant a lot to us. Yeah. So getting back to the sorry, to, you know, it's fine. I, I, Maggie's going to be very happy now. I want. She Maggie should happy. be. Oh, she yeah. should be because uh, we do. We do get to read you. I mean. Oh no, Tony's made it very clear. Yeah. Uh, but I want to know. So season two footage, we okay, see you yeah. with what appears to be undercover doing missions. What can you say about that? Yes, I mean, we, the first season ends with a guy saying, "Okay, kill me or take me in," but he doesn't know what he's getting into. It. No, he doesn't speak the language, and now it's about becoming a spy you know we, we have to we have to get to the point where where he uh, is where he goes in this mission that, that Rogue One starts with so he has to become a, a real spy and he's gonna have to learn a lot uh, you are halfway through the season yes. I'm assuming you've read have you read all 12 scripts oh, of course right so what, what well not all 12 no yes but yes you know where it's all going. Yes, so everything. How, how, I think for a lot of fans, one of the reasons why Andor is so spectacular is the writing. The writing is just on another level. Can you talk about the, the writing of season two and what has impressed you or made you really happy? It, it, takes, uh, it takes risks, you know? We're not repeating what happened in season one. Uh, structurally, it has changed, you know? Now, we each block is a year, and then there's a... There's a jump, you know, between each block. Sure. Yeah, and there's a lot that you'll see and a lot that you won't see, and uh, and it's quite interesting, you know. It's risky, uh, and it's going to be challenging uh, for audiences in a good way. Uh, Tony, Tony keeps raising the bar, you know, uh, and and that's the beautiful thing of working with someone that uh, cares so much about what he does. Uh, I would say that uh, it brings the best out of everyone around, you know. Uh, when with good writing, everything starts with the writing, and with good writing, you can just get great people, great ideas, and then a beautiful process. Uh, it's been fun. It's just sad every day, you know, because you know it's one one day less, you know, of of this journey that has been fantastic. Um, anyway, yeah. I, I have to wrap with you, but right before you go, yes. uh, what's it been like working with K two again? <laughs> what? Excuse me? What was that question? I think it has to do with a, a robot friend. I, but uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I mean, I think you're in the wrong, in the wrong press line. Sure. You're talking about. Uh, I mean, tell me where, where, the, where are you getting your information from? I, Mr. Gilroy actually told me. He said that you were going to talk all about K two in uh, Andor season two. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking I'm joking, about. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm gonna pass you this. No, no, you know? I'm not hot, oh. man. Uh. <laughs>